looks like a, this is a little bit elaborate, but today I decided that I wanted to do a Christmas look for you. So it started off as a very wearable Christmas look. And uh, then at a certain point I said, well this would be our final look, but let's have some fun. And beyond that is all just playing impromptu with the camera. The inspiration for the look was this decoration. I actually took off my daughter's Christmas tree because she has her own tree. And um, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know what you think, but <laughs> this was our inspiration and it starts with just a very normal Christmas eye and we go from there. Um, kind of playing around and stuff. I'm not editing a lot out of that. The only thing I'm going to edit out of that is like kids arguing in the background fighting over food or candies or what have you. Cereal. But the whole playing around in the process of trying to figure everything out I'm going to leave right in there for you guys. I thought it'd be a little bit of fun. Um, so if you want to learn how to do it, keep watching and I'll show you how. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is apply a base. I'm going to use Milk Jumbo Pencil. Mix this Jumbo Pencil and Milk and just apply that all over the lid. Once you get that on, blend it upwards with your finger. I'm trying to learn to film myself so that when I have to, I can. So that is why I'm just staying close up on the eye because it's easier for me when I'm trying to do it myself. And um, so there won't be the benefit of the zooming in and out this time, just because I want to make sure that I can do this if I ever have to. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a white shadow to the inner corner of our eye. I'm going to be using that white shadow right there that I got from Oraline Beauty when I was at IMAT. And I'm just going to apply that right in the inner corner there. Next I want to take a gold shadow. And for my gold shadow I am going to use that color right there from the 88 palette. And I'm just going to apply that all over the ball of my lid. You want to pack that on there good because you want the gold to show up. So I want to apply a green shade and I'm going to be using Beauty from the Earth's Bombshell. I actually won this in their Halloween contest. It's part of their um, holiday collection so I'm very excited about that. So I'm going to dampen my brush and I'm going to apply that right in the outer corners. Just like this. I'm going to get it on there fairly thickly so it shows up. And I got some fallout, but don't worry, we'll whisk that away in a second. I think it's because I'm looking into the camera and not into the mirror. But I really want to learn how to do this so that if Danny's ever away, I can do it. Because I'm, not, I'm terrible at filming myself. So Today is like an experiment and you guys get to experiment right along with me to see how we can make this work if we ever have to. Because he likes to play with his friends and sometimes it can't be much fun to be stuck in the house filming mommy. So I'm just going to whisk some of that away. And I'll show you how to get the rest of that off in a minute. Anyway, so we've got that done. I'm trying not to move around because it is not the camera that my brush shut on me. It's not the um, camera that's moving. The camera is actually, instead of even on a tripod, is on top of a stack of books because I can't work the tripod myself because it's, I find it very hard for me to get the camera to the right position. So if it seems like something's moving, it's my head and I'm trying hard not to. Right now I want to apply a red color into my, into my crease and I'm going to be using Beauty from the Earth's BAMP and this I also won from their Halloween contest. And I'm just going to go up into my crease with that. I think it's so much better when Danny's here to film because I just find this really, really hard trying to sit perfectly still, try to position my eye in the exact right place. I know a lot of gurus do it, but I just find it easier when Danny's here to zoom in and out and he's worried about all that and I'm just worried about putting on my makeup. I'm actually finding it's making the tutorial take even longer not having Danny here too. I want to take that green again that we applied. I wanted to get the red in first so I could see where our line up was, but I want to take the green and just 
put it on the outside of that. See, that's the way it is on this side. So just put it on the outside. Barely. Filming without Danny will not be something I do often by any means, so don't be scared that, that, that this is the beginning of something like that. This is just that sometimes when he's out with his friends I get a great tutorial idea, but I can't do it because he's not home. So I just want to see like that I can do this, and I also want you guys to to let me know if I should always wait until Danny's home after this to um, to film a tutorial, or if you think if I get an idea and I'm so inspired to go right on ahead. For my brow bone, I'm going back into the 88 palette, and I'm going to choose that pink shade. Get that in there. Now I'm going to apply my eyeliner and my mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've applied my mascara and my eyeliner. For my upper lashes, I used the black gel liner that I got from Oraline Cosmetics. I also used that underneath my um, lower lashes. On my waterline, I put NYX um, Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and for mascara, I used Prestige My Biggest Lashes. Now for underneath the eye, I'm going to, and I'm not going to close up on this. This is too hard without Danny. I really need him. Um, on the 88 palette, I'm going to use that green shade right there. And I'm just going to go right underneath. You can film the rest of the tutorial if you want. And Danny's back! Yay, Danny! <laughs> I'm so happy because I cannot do this without him. Okay, so from this point, we are just going to have some fun and play around with colors and see what we like. So I'm looking at this thinking, you know, what can I do to it to make it more Christmassy? And I'm thinking, why don't we play with a little bit of holly? So I'm going to go back into that 88 palette, and I'm going to choose that same green shade we went under our eyes with. I am so glad Danny's back. It's so much easier when I do not have to work on that as well. And for drawing holly, it's really simple. Here, I'll show you on my hand. Can you see this, Danny? If you go like this, and then 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 like this, just a bunch of arcs, you can get a little piece of holly. What I'm going to do is just do what I just did on my hand. Can you see this good, Danny? And just go arc, 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 arc. And then we're just going to color that in a little bit. You see it's not big and obnoxious, but it's got your holly shape. And then I'm just going to do another one, kind of angled to it. So we're going to go arc, 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 arc. Arc, arc, arc. <laughs> I probably sound like some kind of barnyard animal. But, and now we've got them colored in. See, so it's just little. Then I want to go back into the 88 palette, and I want to take this red color right here. Can you see that, Danny? And I'm just going to draw one, two, three little holly berries. Well, maybe we'll put four little holly berries just to be cute. And then on the other side, why not do a holly over there? So we'll use the same green, and we'll do the same process pretty much. So it's just a matter of, I'm just trying to make sure I get it in the same spot. Arc, 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 arc. I, sound, I don't know what kind, of, what kind of animal do you guys think I sound like? Roof. Like a dog? Bark, Oh, bark, don't say bark. that. Can you imagine the comments I'll got on YouTube? You sound like a dog. You're old and you're middle-aged. And my personal favorite is that I look like a crack whore. I don't know who raises these kids that put these comments on my channel, but good God, their parents are not doing their job. Are you putting that on your thing? Yep. Darn right I am. It was my chance to speak out about people who put rotten comments are on. Are you going to take me off of it? Take it. Well, I'll take <laughs> off where you said you would. <laughs> So, you know, we got our second little holly no. over here. Second side never turns out as good as the no, first side. Does it look like the berries? Oh, yes, it does. I did notice what you're, like how you were making it. 
Can you try not to move? Because I have to lift this thing up and move. Oh, it. okay. I'll try not to move. It's not Danny moving. It's me moving because I'm looking down into my mirror. When I was filming, I was looking straight into the camera. So anyway, now we have our holly berries over here. Holly And our holly over here. And I'm not finished yet. Thank I still kind of want to play because remember what our original inspiration was, was this. So, hmm. I'm just trying to think of what more could be done. And I know. Face red. No, face doesn't turn red. No, yeah, I'm mean, like. Really, no candy can make your angry. face red and I put white stripes. If you get angry, it does. Does it? Yeah. Okay, we're going to draw squiggly line coming down. Uh oh, I'll be crying. No, I'm not crying. Just feeling like playing today. And I'm going to draw little petals like around that white flower on the bulb. What did you say, dear? You should have tried this out first. Well, you know what? I tried out the rest of the look. And sometimes it's kind of fun, and it's probably fun for them to see me make goofs and <coughs> play around until I get it right. It does look a little... It will look nice when it's done, trust me. Sure. Isn't it nice that my kids have so much faith in me, people? I know we have so much. I can just actually nice it here like a little bit. I'm the one that told you to do this. <laughs> you stole one of my marshmallows. I'm gonna live to regret this, but now paint some lip gloss along all your black lines. The reason why I say I'm gonna live to regret this. Is because get off. every time I use glitter, it winds up being a mess for a week. But it, hey, it's the holiday season. It's time to glitter and glam it up a bit, right? No. Imagine everybody's looking at my face right now going, oh my god, Tracy. I imagine everybody looks at my face all the time going, oh my god, Tracy. I really don't care, though. And back to what I was saying about the comments. If you've got nothing better to say than those sorts of things, then kindly unsubscribe now. This is my invitation to unsubscribe. If you're commenting on my page calling me a crack whore, middle-aged, old, um, or any of those things, I don't need that, so this is your invitation. Unfortunately, I was unable to find my gold sparkles. So where you see gold on the ball, we'll be using, oh, I found my gold sparkles. They were right in front of me, duh. Doi, 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 doi. Sorry, it's one of those days. So we'll take the gold sparkles now with a sponge tip applicator. We're gonna go everywhere that we just put that lip gloss along our black line. So we're just kind of coating our black line down. Because we don't want the black to show, we just want the gold to show. Which is why we put the lip gloss right on top of the black, but I put the... I wasn't trying to be mean back there. It's just that it really upsets me when someone comments for no other reason than to tell me that I look old. I'm not... I know that I'm older than a lot of the girls on here, but what is really wrong with that, really? I think that maturity can bring something to the YouTube makeup community. So yeah, we're dipping our gold all over that. Okay, so now I am going to go into the Oraline palette and I'm going to choose the white shade again that we used on the inner corner of our eyes. And I'm just going to dab that in between all these little spots because obviously I decided to fill it in with white. Now on the outside of those, I'm going to use the 88 palette again, and I'm not going to show you the color again because that's monotonous. It's the same green we've been using all along. I'm just going to kind of follow a little bit on the outlines.
So this is our final look. I really hope you like it. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, um, whatever applies to you. I just want you to have a great one. Bye, YouTube. Bye.